I gave birth to a target. A brilliant and beautiful bullseye of a boy, his skin just black enough to be stained red and white. I'm frightened. I don't know much about riflery except that this world is full of marksmen and my son is a target. I watch news reports reposting the same agony, black male slain, cut to the image of a grieving family and a community activist like Brooks or Washington, but I'm watching them. The souls of angels dropped to this earth to become men but don't get a chance to be more than just targets. My son is a target, a potential victim to the black top bloodshed bloodline of a black boy whose breath is trying to be blown from his body. Oh my God, he deserves so much more than the prospect of being shot on prospect because he can cross or check another boy who just wants to remove the target from his neck. These boys will die for their respect but live for nothing honorable, too afraid to admit they are vulnerable, so they let their spirits become as hard and misshapen as the steel that will riddle up their bodies at will while these tough guy games leave mothers in pain and crying. And I'd be lying if I said my son was not a target, not available to have his life bargained for over some retro Jordan 4s, and I have tried to hide behind my eyelids. But the truth is, I have a kid who is subject to violence, a seedling that may never grow into a tree, a grain of sand that the tide may try to wash into the sea. But I can't live my life thinking that one day my child's smile might be a distant memory. Misery is found in the middle of the map as the guns clapping, crack domes, the glocks popping, shatter homes, and weary women write sad poems trying to suppress the tears that their pregnant eyes have been holding. And I'm raising a son not knowing or able to tell, will he be taken by the cops like Sean Bell? Or after a party like Nathan and DeMarco, and my heart goes out to the families of Marion, Darian, Marquez, Trayvon, John, and Joe, and every other boy taken before reaching his potential. All of this pain cannot be put to rest with one pencil or one poet. My soul gets lit and ignites my firecracker heart and I wish that firecrackers were the only bang in the dark. But more than likely, the streets have just hardened under the weight of a new soul. And this just in, the new trend is bullet holes and funeral funds. And if you thought they had stopped in Tuskegee, the new wave of black genocide has begun. I don't want to be one of the millions of mothers left missing her only son, but that boy is a target. He has been a target since his conception, yet they tell us that our children are supposed to be our blessings a notion that I held on to the full time I was expecting, neglecting the fact that I would be giving birth to a target, a brilliant and beautiful bullseye of a boy, his skin just black enough to be stained red and white. Yeah. 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 Yeah.